Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker, and I, I thank Chairwoman Johnson for yielding me time and for her support of the bill. This legislation enjoys bipartisan support of the South Dakota Congressional Delegation. Judge Andrew Bogue served this country honorably throughout his lifetime. A native of Parker, South Dakota, he served in the Army Signal Corps during World War II and later in the Judge Advocate General Corps. He served as a state's attorney for his home, Turner County, and he was elected as a judge in the Second Judicial District Circuit Court. In 19 senators at that time, Carl Munt, a Republican, and George McGovern, a Democrat, recommended that President Nixon appoint Judge Bogue to the U.S. District Court for the state of South Dakota. Judge Bogue served in that position until his passing just last year. He was trying cases and working hard all the way up to his 90th birthday. When Judge Bogue was confirmed, there were no federal courthouses in Rapid City. As the first judge to be based in the western part of South Dakota, he served his first year in Deadwood. He moved his courtroom to Rapid City and worked the next few years in the first federal savings and loan building. Judge Bogue was present at the very beginning when the General Services Administration began planning the federal building and courthouse that we are renaming after him today. And he participated in that planning. Put simply, Judge Bogue is a major reason the Rapid City Courthouse exists as it does today. Judge Bogue was an impressive figure on the bench, and lawyers who practiced before him knew, knew him as someone who listened and who was committed to justice. Because of his role and his contributions to the administration of justice throughout his career on the bench, the group tasked with renaming the Rapid City Courthouse unanimously agreed on Judge Bogue and I can think of no better tribute to his legacy. Thank you, and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields.